We got this. We got this. Yeah. Come on. Work it. Work it. Work it. Oh! Alright. Welcome back to my channel. Let's get going. You guys, I have been trying to film this video for so long. I have refilmed this video now. We're on the third time and I feel like I've said that in a couple of videos. But I just feel like it's worth saying that like the amount of work that goes into making like a good YouTube or like a good channel, especially if you're a perfectionist, is just like so much. And I already want to go back and like delete my old videos because I'm like that's wrong and that's wrong and that's wrong. But like it's a learning process. So that being said, it's Saturday night and we're doing a favorites and a beauty haul. Let's do a generous pour. Let's get started, shall we? So I know I said that I don't do um, monthly favorites. I lied completely, it seems, because this is my February favorites video along with a mini beauty haul review on a couple of products that I've recently got sent to me by various companies. Um, so yeah, it looks like we are doing some favorites. And I know it's March 5th. As of right now, it's Saturday, March 5th. So we're a little late on the February favorites, but you know what? Y'all don't run my life. So, trust me, if you did, it would probably go a lot smoother. Let's get into it, huh? So my first favorites, favorites, my first favorites I literally cannot, 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 cannot get enough of is these puppies right here. Now, if you follow me on Snapchat, <laughs> good for you, but if you follow me on Snapchat, you know that I'm obsessed with face masks. I'm always trying to like put new face masks on my face and just absorb nutrients and absorb beautifulness. So I noticed these were on, Inst not even Instagram, I think I saw these on Facebook the first couple times. They're called Tony Moly, uh, basically skincare masks. Korea, they're Korean. I knew that they're, I was trying to recognize the writing on it. They are so amazing. They're like one of those weird Silence of the Lamb masks that you put on your face and like absorb the nutrients for like 35 minutes and then you don't scrub or wash or anything and then your skin like absorbs everything and like the extra product just goes in. I got the Skin Soothing, Skin Purifying, and Pore Care. These are my go-tos. They're kind of expensive. They're like $3.50 a piece. I get them at Ulta. Honestly, I do like every other day. And I've already noticed like just such a difference in my skin and like as you guys I'm sure know like I'm always trying to improve my skin because I have problematic skin and I don't think that there's any benefit of me lying about that. I think that that's something I actually really do want to share. I want to share like different problems I have because I think a big part of beauty blogger, a big part of beauty blog, blogging, a big part of beauty blog, beauty blogging. All right, maybe what we'll do is we'll have a wine break so I can understand how to speak better. Is that a big thing on social media, Instagram, you know, what have you, is even though I'm very small and I'm growing, is often people will get to a certain platform and they kind of lose, they lose their humanity. No, they lose their realness, just a little bit. You know, they lose, you kind of lose that connection that you have with people. And I just want people to understand, like, I, love makeup, I love beauty, I love everything to do with the fashion, beauty, and makeup industry, cosmetic industry, but you know, this whole like, none of us have pores, none of us have problems is just such horseshit, and it's not true, and I have all the problems in the world, all of them. I had to go and conceal a bunch of zits before I could even film this, and then vicariously put the lighting so y'all would see less of the zits, because I can't fucking stand to look at it, you know what I mean? So that's one thing I'm always going to share with you is my skincare. <sighs> Enough rambling. Go ahead, try these out. They're amazing. Doesn't matter which one you get, they're all super ultra hydrating, which is I think part of why I like it because a lot of masks are tightening, which means they're fighting your skin and taking all the moisture out. Um, and that's not what these do. So again, Tony Moly, these are face masks. You probably see them everywhere and your mother and I highly recommend them. Um, on the theme of face 
and skincare. My next item is the Mario Badescu Drying Lotion. I got this on a uh, recommendation from Desi Perkins, who I follow on Snapchat and for, you know, in life. And she always has like these dots on her face at night. And then finally she's like, well, I'm using like this drying lotion like X, Y, and Z. A, I've heard amazing things about Mario Badescu as it is, and B, I am always looking for spot treatments because I will get hormonal spots on my face and then it's just like how the hell do I get rid of this overnight. Now I'm going to be honest, this lotion is amazing and a little dab will do. It's a little expensive, it's like 17 bucks. You take one Q-tip and one Q-tip go, go all over your face. So one dab, one Q-tip, once a night and it will go and fight and help prevent and stave off acne. But if I'm going to be completely honest, it doesn't just fight the acne. There is a certain aspect of it that actually pulls the acne out. It's, I know that's gross, but I'm just gonna be real with y'all. Sometimes we all have problem pressure zits or problem whatever and it won't come out. This will actually extract the acne out and allow you to extract the whitehead or blackhead or what have you out of your face. Mario Badescu, Badescu Drying Lotion. Another thing for skincare, I guess it's not really skincare. I don't really know what this would be considered, but everyone and their mama is raving about micellar water. Micellar water? Micellar water. And they're all saying how much, you know, this is amazing, whatever, whatever. So I always use Clinique Take the Day Off. It's like a thick clay, kind of a clay white mask that you put over your face and it completely eats away and disintegrates your makeup. It's pretty heavy. It's also like a $30 price point, but it will last you for like six months. For about an eighth of the cost, you can get this micellar water. This one's a Garnier Skin Active. It cleanses and refreshes. No rinse, no hard rubbing, face, lips, or eyes. All skin types, even sensitive. So, for my fair skin ladies, my ladies who have rosacea or just uh, blemishes all over or even just really problematic skin, this is for you. It is pretty salty. If you get it in your eyes, it kind of feels like you're opening your eyes in the ocean. But you, you win some, you lose some. Not everything's perfect. For like six dollars at Ulta, CVS, Rite Aid, wherever, so worth it. Just do yourself a favor and go get it. Just go. What do you even do? Why are you even here anymore? Like, why are you here talking to me? You should just be out there getting this. Um, I use this probably four times a day, and I've had it for two, like a month. And as you can see, I'm about halfway down. So, highly worth the investment. You get a high ROI, return on investment. Cannot say enough about it. My next product that I'm going to be talking about is something that if you are on my Instagram, you've already heard me like or read me talking about this. Like I use this palette four or five times a week. I'm one of those people that, yeah, all these new palettes are coming out, but if I find, you know, I'm loyal. I'm loyal. And if I find a palette that just like works for me, it works for me. I have no problem consistently being like this palette, this palette, this palette. Honestly, if I was a little bit more fallen, I'd probably buy a few more palettes and be using them on the regular, but I'm not. So one thing I really want to talk about is the Smashbox Masterclass Palette. I wear this on my eyes religiously, and if you go back to my Instagram, you'll see that like every other post is a Masterclass Smashbox Palette. Not only does it have like 25 different shades, it also has four blushes and four highlights, including one like bronzy taupe highlight. Can you Shut the fuck up. So, I, I mean, like, I love it. I use this all the time. I, um, it is a limited edition palette, and it was on sale around Christmas time, so who knows how much longer you're going to be able to get it, but if you find this palette, I would highly, highly recommend getting it. It's just amazing. It kind of looks like a textbook. <laughs> So you can, A, you can beat someone to death with it, and B, you can, you know, you can go to college, you can get educated, you know. Oh, the Great War of 1867. Oh, the history of slayage, right here. Mm -hmm. How to Serve 101. It's a good read. I'm telling you, this shit is amazing, bitch. Shit is on my tongue. Like, just please do yourself a favor and at least check it out if you have a friend who has it. Um, I think that they're highly pigmented, highly blendable. Um, you do need a good brush, and some brushes, like my e.l.f. brushes will work great in it, but then some of the cheaper brushes I've gotten, like, from Rite Aid don't, if that makes any sense, I don't know. Buy it. This is a February favorites. this is a lifetime favorite, this is an everything favorite. And by the way, can I just say, like, 
It's Saturday night. I have makeup on, but I'm like in my sweats. I'm in my house. Friends is on in the back. I've got my wine. And this is what we're doing. The rest of y'all, while well, you guys are taking shots, I'm working. All right, so my next product and the last of my favorites, or actually that's not true, second last of my favorites, is the House of Lashes Lash Case. I cannot talk about this enough. I got this at IMAX. I know, everyone saw the second day talking about IMAX. Something to you. I fucking loved IMAX. And I'm gonna talk about it until next year or so. And let me just explain, this is IMAX official, exclusive, uh, exclusive product, which basically means they told us that so that we buy it and then promote it to other people before they launched it officially without warning, which is exactly what they did. And I cannot tell you how much I love this stuff. It is antibacterial case for your lashes. Hold up to three, uh, three uh, pairs of lashes, mine of which are, are kind of askew. <laughs> and then it has a mirror. And in the bottom, you have room for adhesive, tweezers, clippers, whatever you need. That cuts down on like the overall storage of your lashes so much because if you have all these individual boxes, it just becomes tedious and time consuming and so much different like wear and tear. And to be honest, I only ever have three sets of lashes in play at like any one given time. If you have more than that, maybe get more than one case. I don't know. These come in like uh, this rose gold pink. There's a like a champagne color and I believe a soft kind of sea green color. I'm telling you these are amazing, They're like 30 bucks, house of lashes. Just check it out. Check it out, get online, check it out. Just look into it. If you a lash girl, check it out. Um, okay, and so my last favorites item before we move on to like my haul items and kind of like what I've been picking up from a couple of different companies is the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer because people are always asking me like what my favorite face primer is. Granted, I really do like things that are like pore filling, but the Mineral Veil is literal butter for the face and it's it's like a it comes out kind of greasy and almost kind of thick but when it goes on your skin it just your skin just absorbs it and like you have a natural glow and it's a seamless kind of finish it really does make your skin feel like velvet and I love this so much that I call it my fancy primer my fancy primer and I only use it when I'm going to advance or to the bar or whatever you know it's not like my everyday going to work primer although it has become that because I'm so obsessed um, I would just highly recommend this. The full bottle is like $35. It's a little expensive. So what I do is when I'm going through the Sephora line and you go through that little like alley of wonderment as you walk up to the cashier, the one that's like tricking you to spend like $400 instead of $150, that alley, you'll find this one for like 12 to 15 bucks. Grab it, try it out. I'm telling you, you will not regret buying this primer at all. Sorry, I had an itch. Has for all Hourglass products, it really is just amazing. And it is, let's see, it has, uh, oh, also it has SPF 15 in it. I've been trying to plug anything with SPF in it because it is alarming to me the amount of women I know that do not wear any SPF. Guys, what are you doing? All right, wine break. Heart. For those of you wondering, I'm drinking a Grafoon Sangiovese, Sangiovese, I'm drinking red wine from Trader Joe's, 2013, a very good year. There we go. And mind you, I tried to film this video last night and I was like, I wanna drink some wine and hang out with my bitches, talk some makeup. So I drank a whole bottle of wine while I filmed this. And then when I went to go review the footage, the lighting was so off that I had to scrap the footage. So I got wine drunk on a school night for no reason. Ah, just kidding, there's always a reason. It Cosmetics, if you're on my Instagram, you already know this, if you're not on my Instagram, what the fuck? But um, It Cosmetics reached out to me in the beginning of February and told me, you know, we, that, they just reached out to me and they're such great people and just kind of just have a disclaimer, like I have worked with many, many people in the fashion industry, in the beauty industry, and like it is very rare to find a company that is warm and quick and very astute and very blunt and to the point. And it Cosmetics is so friendly and kind and warm and generous. 
and they contacted me and told me they'd love to send me some stuff to try out. A couple, uh, about a week ago, I got the package in the mail. And for my giveaway winners, I will list their names at the bottom in the description box so that um, in case they haven't already figured it out, because it is live on my Snapchat right now, but by the time this video goes up tomorrow, um, that Snapchat might snap. That Snapchat might be gone. It Cosmetics is um, really based around skincare. Their products, although they are thick, tend to just kind of blend and become part of your skin. So one thing they did send me was the Your Skin But Better. It's a CC Plus Cream. So what it is, is it's supposed to be seven products in one. It's supposed to be a full coverage foundation. It's supposed to be um, anti-aging hydrating serum, a full coverage correct color correcting cream, and more. Kind of like a moisturizer as well. To be honest, it also has SPF 50 in it. And to be honest, I personally, mama likes some coverage. I think that it's about medium to full coverage. I wouldn't call it like, it's not like comparable to like Kat Von D Locket tattoo coverage or foundation or whatever the hell it is. I love that foundation, but I haven't had it in a while, so I can't remember the name. But it's damn good product. Like, damn good product. And it does go on a little bit easier if it's applied with like a full kabuki brush rather than like the Artiste brush or even a beauty blender. That is a disclaimer I'm going to give you right now. But it is amazing and it lasts forever and not just that, it kind of went on a little it went on a little lighter. What I have noticed about this is that it oxidizes as you go on. So it is going to get a little darker within about half an hour of you wearing it. So I would definitely recommend color testing these before you buy it. Um, I just went with, I mean, when they sent me, the kit that they sent me had several, several different shades in it, and I chose the lightest shade, and I'm very happy with it. It is amazing, and honestly, when I run out of this, I will be repurchasing it, because it's fantastic. They also sent me a brow definer, brow power, universal brows and taupe, which I haven't used yet, but when I do, I'll Snapchat it annoyingly and tell you guys about it. Um, and then the other thing they sent me, which I know everyone already tried it, everyone already knows, but Bye Bye Under Eye, if you guys don't know, because I didn't fucking know, if you guys don't know, this shit is amazing. It is so thick. It is so thick. This thing could cover a fucking homicide. But it has uh, collagen and vitamin C in case. So because it has collagen, it's going to blow out any imperfections like silicone. Um, it's also going to improve the elasticity of your skin, and frankly, like, I definitely just see my, I, not to be like, oh, but I don't really have too many fine lines and wrinkles, but the ones I do have, it uh, absolutely completely diminishes. Okay? So, I cannot speak enough about this. I'm going to be wearing it in my Instagram looks. I'm not really one to really plug my concealer on Instagram. For my MOTDs and for my makeup details, I tend to just be like, these are the key product series we need to know. But honestly, I think that this will get at least one or two official shout outs because this, you can wear just this and like a moisturizer and you're good. Like this, this is more full coverage than most foundations I've tried in my life. The Bye Bye Pores, it, um, it is a setting powder and a finishing powder, and let me tell you, it's an amazing powder. I used it to bake the other day, but I'm going to tell you right now. It's amazing, and it totally gets rid of your pores, but it is mattifying. So if you have oily skin, or if you have combination skin, or if you just kind of like, like me, I get oilier throughout the day. This can be great for like a touch up, real quick touch up because it just absorbs the moisture. And I'm going to be honest, if you're like me and you're like a highlight queen, you are not going to be able to highlight with this powder. Like if you bake with this powder I did the other day, you will not be able to highlight. I, highlight, I had a liquid highlight and a powder highlight and you could not see it. I'm not kidding. You could not see it. It was that fucking mattifying. Like it's not a game. It is very much. I kind of want to like write Jaclyn Hill. And tell her, because I know her best friend Jackie is like super, super oily and like nothing ever stays matte. This will get it done. It is so, this is a translucent, it's translucent, translucent. See, I can't, I don't know. Um, but wow, Ooh, that wine's making me sleepy. But um, it's amazing. It's so, so, so mattifying to the point that it actually might be a little alarming. Like I was trying to highlight and I was just like, now I was using champagne pop. It wasn't any like low-key subtle highlight. It was like the creme de la creme 
baseball championship of the world highlight. I love it, love it, love it. I'm not really one to always want to be mats, but I use it to correct throughout the day and it, it really, it really helped me. Like, I can't even begin to tell you how much it helped me. It just, it helped me. <laughs> I recently got an email from Who Is She Cosmetics. It is a small cosmetic company. You can look them up on Instagram. In fact, I highly recommend that you do look them up on Instagram because they're coming up. I'll link them down below. Um, it's run by one woman and she hand makes all of her products like in-house hand makes. They're vegan, cruelty free, and like $10 a pop. And they're, com they're amazing. And she's most famous, she makes some blushes and highlighters but I have not yet tried them. But what she's most famous for is she makes these lip hybrids. So lip hybrids, like right there. These aren't like your matte liquid lipsticks. Like this is a hardcore lipstick. It's long wear, but like I wouldn't go making out with anyone when I was wearing this. And she sent me six different ones to try. And I put on, I immediately went and put on like the reddest red I had. And many of them are duo chrome. So if like you're moving around and in the light, you're gonna have different colors and refraction of light. There's a really big duo chrome trend coming up for beauty this year. If you're paying attention to anything Jeffree Star is doing or anything Sugar Pill's been doing, you'll know that that is actually very true. And Who Is She Cosmetics is like the perfect, because A, it's vegan, it's cruelty free, it's hand, and it's a small business. Like you, I want to support small cosmetic businesses because even Urban Decay was small at one point, you know? Even, <sighs> God, even Jeffree Star was small at one point. And those are some of my favorite brands. And like, if you can get in with a, with a company and support a company that's growing and that works ethically, like you are really doing yourself and other consumers a favor. I truly believe that. That's just me though. Um, this one's called Chocolate. Chocolate. So expect to see these a lot on my Instagram. Probably on my YouTube in the future. Future. Huh. Yeah, I think, you know, there is a really big matte liquid lipstick, but not everyone's sold on that. Not everyone has to be. And, like, not every day is a matte day. You know, sometimes you really just want that glossy liquid lip, and that is what these are. And they come in the cutest little jars, and they're handwritten names on the bottom, and I'm in love. And I just need to shout them out. It's not a favor yet because I'm not, like, I haven't been wearing it really. I only got them in the mail like today. Actually, yesterday. But I just... I needed to shout them out to let you guys know that this is an amazing company. I'm so happy that they chose me to send me this product and you're going to be seeing a lot of it on Instagram. Yeah. Speaking of Instagram, I'm going to link my Instagram and my Snapchat down below. I'm always snapping beauty and doing a lot of giveaways on Instagram and Snapchat. It's fun. I love making new friends. Um, and so I'll link that down below. Plus, I'm going to link a bunch of places to buy all the products that I mentioned here in my video and if I miss one let me know and I will be doing a get ready with me video shortly and then there will be a smoky eye tutorial that will be released very quickly I know that that was a heavily requested look after I posted it on Instagram about two weeks ago but like I said lighting is a bitch so I've been working on it I really appreciate your patience with me and if you guys could do me a favor give this a thumbs up um, and subscribe that would be great you're gonna know more when my videos are coming out and yeah I'm so excited to be a part of this community I'm so excited to be friends with you guys and thank you so much for supporting me as I do it and um, yeah add me on snapchat Instagram Facebook vote for me for president do whatever you gotta do all right guys I'll see you in my next video and uh, yeah so I don't know what's wrong.